welcome back to the Business Spotlight. My guest today is the world's fastest reader, documented, 80 pages a minute. What about retention and comprehension? Do you just kind of flip the, no, 90 plus percent comprehension. The guy literally read the entire Obamacare Act in like, how many pages? 50 minutes. Yeah, but how many 50, pages? Well, there were three of them. The first one was 1,500 pages. That took 50 minutes. That was the Senate bill. Then the House bill was 2,000 pages. That took 58 minutes. And the final bill was 2,600 pages. And that took 90 minutes. And I did an analysis. Okay. And that was on the Cavuto show. Yeah. yeah. But the point that I'm trying to make is that this is a time when our kids are coming into a world where if they're not really good at processing information, maybe they have ADHD, maybe they have dyslexia, and they've never been taught any other way than what they got in first grade. I, I'm just curious, I'd love you to like this show and when I post it out there on social media, if you're someone that read the words of the page in first grade to a group of people, and then what happened? The next year, the teacher said, this year you're going to read silently. And so you started doing that in second grade, and then we never got out of it. And so we're getting backed up. Howard, you were saying that right now is such a time when we've got huge issues that the faster you can get through information, the better you can retain it, it's going to make a big difference. Tell me about that. 40 million people unemployed. What are they going to do? They got to go back to school. Many of them aren't sure how to learn. I got 11 year olds in college. Steven graduated UTA at 16, 4.0 economics degree, master's in math at OU at 19, 397. Uh, Micah was uh, passed the bar at 19 in California. Uh, Justin Brum, an 11 year old C student, 22 year old English professor at Tarrant College. To me, this shows me it's working. We did a double blind study. Right now, more kids between 25 and 40 live with their parents than are married. They can't afford to move out with their college loans. We live in a knowledge-based economy. Everything you do is based on what you know. And people think you work more hours to make more money. No, you don't work more hours. You get better skills so you make more money and you work less hours. The really successful people don't work 90 hours a week. What do they say? The average uh, executive, the age old thing, reads about a book a week or more and or more, you know, and the the challenge is, is that we're in an age where we need to get this stuff because it ain't going away. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, 59 you know, and I'm going to probably be doing what I do, speaking and, and teaching marketing and coaching and mentoring people for a while, probably 75, 80 and uh, because I love it. But it ain't slowing down. I see the day when we'll walk into a room like this, activate a holographic thing, and my image will land on other stages and their image is That's right. So information ain't slowing down. Every six months it doubles and it's all online. So people feel like they're drowning in data. In fact, if you'd like, I could show them how to speed up. I, you know, I would love that. I'm going to need, uh, I'll, I'll use my watch. It's good enough. I thought it'd be fun. The brand new book, self, so whatever. It's called the Strength Based Marketing. What the uh, business coaches won't, uh, won't, marketers won't tell you. And uh, it just came out. So hey, what the heck? I literally got these new and uh, from Amazon today. And I wanted Howard Let me just to give us just it. thirty seconds. Get it ready. Though. Yeah, right. I just read it. Okay, that's yeah. it. It was great. Great book. Okay. Ready? So while he's doing that, what I'm going to do Shall we? is, uh, not yet. I'm going to start you now. Go ahead. You can. So while he's doing that, I just encourage you to realize that this is not a joke. This is for real. Howard actually has the skill to be able to process information. And it wasn't, it wasn't born to him. He developed it. What would it be like for you if you go to berglearning.com forward slash fast? I call it forward slash, it's one leads forward, whatever it is on your fast, F A S T. You can get it. And I gave him 35 second stop. How many pages? I did 21. 
Coming to 21. Yeah, these, no, are, bi these like, are bifocals. Yeah, I didn't. You didn't tell me I to really bring my reading glasses. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But in okay. the first 21, I'll you... tell you, I can tell you what I read. Okay. Well, it starts off with a dedication to your wife, Kelly, and then it explains the importance of the book. You talk about creating the best possible offer and what those offers are, and then how to make the offer stick and different kind of things you could do, like guarantees and um, gifts and, and, and upsells and things like that. And that's basically the first three chapters. It's how to create the office, how to make sure the office sticks, and how to make it relevant to the audience. He's right. <laughs> and I did dedicate the book to my wife and my kids. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, but the point that I, I hope you guys realize, can you do that? 35 mm -hmm. seconds, read 21 pages like that. Uh, and that's with not his reading glasses on. But <laughs> today, we want to make sure that if you're wrestling with reading. This isn't, he's not a freak of nature. He developed it. I did. And I might be a freak of nature, but the point is, is that it's possible. With berglearning.com forward slash fast, it will, it'll be on the screen. And uh, you can, you can make a difference in your life and the life of your kids. We've got another section coming up because I want to get into the, what did he do? What did, what did Howard just do? So you want to stick around. This is Pat Dewar, Business Spotlight. We'll be right back.